All right, guys, uh, with August in full swing, it's important to know how to care for your plants. Tina's on stage with Marlene, the plant lady, for some tips We're and tricks. We're on stage. We're on stage. Yes. Let's do like a little duet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the August okay. to-do list. Yes, because I mean, it's hot. I don't want to really go outside. Neither do I, but. <laughs> but believe it or not, in August, it's time to think about your fall garden already. Okay. Which I think we could all do. I think we're okay thinking about yeah, fall. It's gonna be nice this week. It's gonna be nice this week. So uh, fall garden, first, your fall veggies, you could start seeding inside now. Oh, so your broccoli, okay. your cauliflower, your beets, your onions, oh. your leafy greens, you could start sowing them inside to get ready to plant them in uh, beginning of September. Okay. Or you could just find them as plants Should and plant them. Should we put them on that little... Um... Heat mat? Yeah. Heat always gets most seeds to sprout faster. You okay. don't have to, but it does get them sprouted faster. Which window then? Well, an east window is good. Okay. Well, if you don't have a supplement, remember it's still hot, so you don't want them to cook. Yeah. You got it. If they come up and they dry out even one day, that's it. That's it. Okay. But yeah, so believe it or not, start prepping for your your fall garden. You could add compost right now. Start removing some of the things that might be done. Remember, peppers start hitting their stride when it cools down. Yeah. And tomatoes could go until the first frost oh, even. So. Yeah. Still got a lot of. And then those. same with melons, they're just starting uh, really going now. Okay. Uh, something else you can do is prune your fruit trees. Summer pruning. Um, so most of the time you prune them when they're dormant or in spring or fall, and that's sort of the shape and the structure. What you can do is. Uh, Here we go. Here's the clippers. Here's I the saw clippers. It. Um, is almost drop them down if they're tall, right? Of course, always prune to a... Wait, wait, so show camera. Yeah. There we go, there we go, right? Right, okay. that you could either do, you've heard me mention thinning and heading cuts. Thinning is where you remove a whole entire branch to its point of origin, like this whole branch, I'm there. Okay. A heading cut is when you have a branch and you just cut it back to a node. That usually causes more bushiness in a plant, but when you do both of these cuts in the summer, it's gonna decrease the um, vitality of the tree a bit. Oh. So next year it won't sprout up as much. Okay. It still allows for aeration to come through. So it's a good practice. If you don't do it, it's okay. Okay. Um, but it's just, it's a practice that, you know, science is starting to show is a good um, practice. All right, here, I'll take okay. that. Okay. Uh, hydrangeas. Some people are like, how do I get my hydrangeas looking better? Yeah. Well, well, that, well that's, that's it. They're done. So what you could do if you have a young one, just I was gonna say that, decapitate it, <laughs> deadheading dead dead head, dead it. Doesn't ah. mean flowers are going to come back. But if you have an old one, this is the time to prune them. Now? Now. You say wait till the fall, like September, October? You you could start now, okay. once the flowers fade. So I if your flowers, okay. right? You don't want to do it in spring because you're pruning off potential buds for next year. Okay. And really you don't need to prune them all the way down to the ground. Just remove any canes that are really old, thin them out. Okay. Or do you just simply remove so the dead this flower plant heads? we can cut to the past. The brown. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Because you told right? me not to do that for the lavender. No, lavender you do not. And this time, if you're speaking to lavender, just remove the flower, spent flower heads. You yeah. may get a second bloom. It's never as nice as the first one. Yeah. But then I wouldn't. I would prune your lavender not until like end of September. Okay. A little bit, and then harvesting seeds if you want, right? Or just let them fall. This is hollyhock. It's a oh, weed in my garden. You could just see. Start harvesting seeds. So you can save you money. Have to, can you get the seeds, let's say for tomato plants? Uh huh. Okay. okay if they're hybrids, uh -huh. you can't collect the seeds and it won't come true. So heirlooms, heirlooms for the most part, you yeah. could collect those seeds and those seeds that you plant, you will get that fruit that you planted. Okay. Hybrids, this is why sometimes people like this weird tomato popped up in my garden. Because uh -huh. hybrids, if they're not certain generations, will not come true. So you could plant it. And that's same with squash. Oh. A squash will pop up in your compost, and you're like, what is this weird squash? I was like wondering, do you have to squash. dry the seed first, or no? You don't have to. Oh, okay. No, but generally, by the time you harvest, harvest tomato seeds, you're not gonna plant your yeah. tomato for yeah. until the next year. Just what? in store seeds in a paper, not in clear plastic, because they'll sweat and it could rot. So you always wanna do like the coin envelopes or paper, because then that allows um, it to the prevent air. from rotting, okay. yep. Well, there you go, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then start looking at buying bulbs for fall. Yeah. And then these are dahlias that you want to plant for spring. Because remember, some of these things sell out, so start ordering seeds. When do I seeds. have to put these in the ground? Well, you could do that in March. Okay. 
Okay, there's a lot of I, I, There's, there's so much to do. It's so much. You're, are, you, aren't you like only here like on the weekends or you have so much time on your hands? Do you want to come and work in my garden? Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> How much do you pay? Well, all right, Marlene the plant lady. Follow her Facebook, Instagram, and of course, listen to her podcast, mm -hmm. Flower Power Garden Hour. So, there's there your bouquet. Is. Isn't that the nicest bouquet <laughs> I've ever given you? Thank you. All right, we'll be right back.